Um, yeah, that's why I, I ripped the tendon, most likely. Oh, God. Um, yeah, I don't know. No, but um, I don't know the videos he has just called uh, Lamau Prata Diva F. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it might. I think 2011 sounds more accurate. I think 2012, I think, is when Seas was founded. <laughs> well, Mother Hugger. Well, what, he was, was was he one of the found, founders? Yeah, it was me and Nick who like founded Seas. It sounds really funny putting it like that. <laughs> and now Nick doesn't meet, hardly does videos for Seas. Yeah, I mean he's he doesn't do videos more in general. I think he's re yeah he's retired from uh, content creation. Like he might join for a Seas commentary, but in terms of just doing like recordings or like stuff on his on his own channel or anything, like he's done. Okay, this is an interesting one because you kind of just like loop around this whole area. So. Why are so many gosh darn tropical levels in this game? Yeah, I haven't. I've never really thought about that until this playthrough. Like there are a lot of like tropical stages. What if this was meant to be sunshine too? <laughs> <laughs> they just accidentally made like like thirty other stages. So okay. <laughs> As you all know, candy grows on trees, just just like the star bits. Yeah, this is also probably the longest collection mission. So well, yeah, well, cause beach ball, uh, not beach ball. Um, uh, sea slide. Sea slide is a pretty wide, wide and open area. I think it mainly is asking you to stay to the B to the B route, though. Yeah, you just. It's very linear, it's just like, it takes a bit. And the bee's not exactly the fastest in terms of hovering. Yeah. This way- in general. Yeah. I don't think you need a long jump with this thing. No, you can't. You can only do the regular jump. Which is why I've said- like, and, I, I think Mario, yeah. Mario just kind of cuts it and just goes. Yeah. Because I- w w Back in like, Honey Hive or something, I mentioned how um, I like the level design more than the bee suit itself, because in terms of like, um, gameplay, I guess. It's not really a favorite, but I do like more so the levels that are built around it. Um, I know, like, especially in Galaxy 2, there's a stage that's with the bee suit that's really good. I know there's one that's just, like, one dedicated, like, wall climb. Mm. Yeah. And it even has, like, a slightly remixed version of um, Honey Hive Galaxy. Yeah. Um, Invigorating yeah. gameplay. Yeah. Um, is, um... Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a... Last, I guess this is, like, the last, um, comment I can really say about the soundtrack, or, like, question, I guess, but, um... Do you guys have any specific tracks that would be, like, your favorites in this, in this game? Dusty Garden. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the obvious one. <laughs> um, the Comet Observatory... Cool. Mm -hmm. That, uh, Toy Time. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, but what's that one? Like, that last lava level, I think that one's growing on me. Yeah. Melty Molten. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Melty Molten. And That's a good one. Although, I, I think I like the one, in, I I know, I, I think I like the, the lava song they had in Galaxy 2 a little more, the one with the blargs. Yeah, I like that one too. I, I like, um, Galaxy 2's a lot more bombastic, so I like it for that. But I do like Galax Galaxy 1's for being more, I guess, cont not contained, was, I don't know what the right word is, but... I Restrained. Talked, restrained, yeah. It feel, I talked about this in the, like, session, but... Oh. It, it feels Good like... Grief, Mario, you don't even have the ability to hold onto the ledges anymore. Yeah. But like, the power-ups are downgrades. <laughs> but no, uh, the... Yeah, Melty Molten in this game sounds like a orchestra version of a... Mario 64 track, which is kind of cool, I guess. Okay, I can probably see why they don't let him grab ledges, because, you know, hovering. Mm. Still, Doesn't like, sure. at least let him trigger the ledge grabbing if you run out of, like, hover power. That would be nice, yeah. But, yeah, um... <laughs> what? Games without uh, ledge grabs is just, like, it's just, like, when I was playing Super Metroid for Story Time, 
it, it, I, I think I jokingly said this too during the recording, where I was just like, man, I wish I had the power grip. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, I forget they had a blue um, starship. Oh, yeah. Do they... Thank you for telling us that. For that's, actually, that's, that, that's actually useful information. Yeah, that's actually good. <laughs> um, I was gonna say. Yeah. So I know they have a green one in some places. So do all the Toad Brigade members have their own color-coded ship? I, Maybe. I guess so. That would be cool. Um, yeah, I guess in terms of my favorites, um, Buri, Buri Base is definitely like a super highlight for me. All right, Buri Base. Yeah. Um, what do you have to say, my friend? Yeah. Um, a lot of the boss themes are really good. I, I mentioned this before, but uh, Bowser Jr.'s is my favorite. Um, okay, no purple coins in the middle, in the island in the middle. That's good. Um, uh, I'm Man, to think. the actually being useful when they're being mag when they're basically just being radars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh yeah, ba Battle Rock. That's a really good one. Oh yeah. my gosh, I'm just imagining like Mario holding up a toad and he's just like squeaking like an emerald radar when purple coins are nearby. <laughs> <laughs> God, considering how many there are, like, that thing would go crazy. It'd just be like the squats and in, in returns. Yeah. Okay, so there is a purple starship. Mm. It looks more pink, like, like it, was this supposed to be Toadette's? <laughs> was Toadette meant to be the fifth Toad Brigade member? Oh, uh -huh. okay, I'm stupid. I thought those star bits were purple coins. <laughs> Mario confirmed to be colorblind. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I've heard of red-green colorblindness in humans, but how how common is like I guess "quote unquote" total colorblindness? I don't. Well, know. like where, where you're pretty much like, where all you can see is black and white or something. Allegedly. Hmm. I yeah, I have no idea. Yeah. I do know, like, and by the way, by the way, by the way yeah. people playing this game, uh, don't fall. Oh yeah, you don't want to do this whole thing again. That's the one thing that sucks about this. <laughs> I... Yeah, all purple coin levels make you restart. Yeah, I. Funnily enough, it's not so bad in the time limit ones because those like, like y you have a time limit well, anyway. It's so a set, it's, it's like a set track. So. It's a set track, but like, if you die in the co the collector fund levels. It sucks ass because you have to do like five, ten minutes again. How long have we been doing this alone? <laughs> like seriously. <laughs> I don't know, but a fair bit. <laughs> you know, the condensation from this tropical area should be making Mario's suit disappear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Condensation. Station. I was making a Family Guy joke. Oh. Okay, here's a here's an off-topic question. Um. Mm -hmm. Gravy, how, how big of a Star Wars fan are you? <laughs> well, clearly I have enough tolerance to come up with 20 plus years of just randomness, so I guess a big Star Wars fan. Did you hear, did you know that Darth Vader is now in Fortnite? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's been Star Wars characters added before, so that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it's, a, it's like one of those, it's only a matter of time kind of things, right? Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. At this point, that's pretty much for all the characters. <laughs> for like anything, it's just like, I don't know. Because I'm just like, would that be the character that makes you play? <laughs> hmm. I mean, yeah, I the last- Fortnite with my cousin before, it was, it was uh. all right. <laughs> I, 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 I never would have gotten into Fortnite if it wasn't for the Naruto characters. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, isn't... What am I saying? It, wasn't... Is the last game you played still uh, Crash 4? <laughs> that depends on when my cousin came to visit last year. Ah, uh, okay. Because if it was 2021, then I probably played Fortnite. Oh! <laughs> I need I need to get back to Crash 4 and Crash 4, but I think I'm saving the aim my, re my retry for um, a stream. Are you gonna just start over again, or are you gonna go, like... I'm probably gonna start over again. Okay. How much of the game did you do? I got to the first level of the ice, of the ice world, then I stopped. Uh, How far is that? I'd say about... Mm. midway, maybe? 
I don't All right. Well, yeah, I want to start over on a play on P uh, on stream because I want to do because that'll be the PS version. Wait, where did that star end up? It went. Uh, it went to the lighthouses to uh, like pull. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we can pretty much just swim the rest of the way there. Yeah. Be nice if there was a show. Mario must be, Mario must be like a wet dog after all of this. And not because of the water, because he's sweaty as all ball as all hell right now. Yeah. He's wet in that tight V suit. Yeah, right. I mean, his outfit his outfit doesn't exactly look loose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Especially considering the hat stays on him at all times. Have you ever tried wearing a hat for that long? It gets really sweaty. Mm. Yeah, I'd imagine so. I used to I used to play baseball. I didn't like it, but <laughs> so it's like at the top of the. Oh, it's up there. Okay. Yeah, you're probably gonna need that BC right here. Yeah, there's yeah. Oh yeah, I do like this theme a lot as well. The beach, the beach, the beach level. Yeah, the uh, no, well, I I dub it as the pingu theme, but because mm -hmm. <laughs> it always plays in levels where penguins are there. Guitar. I guess we can like revisit d this discussion for Galaxy Two when we play that. Huzzah! We're getting there. Three more. Oh my. Oh. Nah. Yeah. That dream gusty garden. Okay. See how this goes. Can never tell where I'm landing. Just gonna hang in there a little longer. Everything hurts. Are you all At right? Glad our commentary for this has been pretty decent. Yeah, it's still been going decently strong. Okay, I think this is mm. like the last time timer one. Oh boy. It was a high random Goomba. Also, I I wanted to mention it uh, before, but in, I like how there's like just a planet in this where it's just a, a question mark. That's kind of uh -huh. funny. Yeah, so I have no idea what the best route is for this, so just I kind of just wing it. Hi. So uh, yeah, I, I, I like this track a lot. Mm, yeah, purple coin thing is stressful. Good. Yeah, no, I, I like your comment in the last session and say it sounds like a news theme because <laughs> it, I it kind of does in a lot of ways. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was just picturing that um, earlier today, just imagining like news a news channel coming on and just playing this theme. <laughs> Sounds like a eh, eh. Sounds like I'm here on Australian news channel. Yeah. Why Austra why Australia? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh... Oh, no. I was gonna say, I gonna answer that? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Very specific. <laughs> that is pretty specific. That's specific. You missed the coin. Well, I'm not. Y y there's uh, more than what's necessary. I'm just getting what's like oh. the most. Yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the timer ones like only have. What was it? They have like. 120, 150 or something. So you just get the ones that are the most convenient, really. Probably they don't have like a yeah. secret star for like collecting all of them coins. Oh god. Got in the first hundred. That would be nightmare. That would, that would just be a nightmare. Uh, especially for like... Well, the, 
Does the timer stop when you get the, all the coins? No. I was imagining the timer stopping. <laughs> that, that's what makes this annoying, that timer doesn't stop. <laughs> but we only need like, uh, 15 more. Yeah. And... Ooh. Let's hope it just spawns, let's hope, let's hope it spawns in the convenient spot then. Yeah, I don't know what's available. Long jump, man. Whee! Oh, here's a good one. Eh! Turn, just turn around, turn around. Get back to the way you came. Oh gosh, this one is suck. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah, is Right. If you had to get all the coins in that, that would just suck. <laughs> We're going to at least make it a straight line. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I tell you, yeah. uh, the gold leaf has a timer. No, you were wrong. Yeah. It's not telling a lie, you were just wrong. <laughs> I mean, either way. Okay. Speaking of gold leaf. Go and, go and leave him in, what's the last one? Dusty Dune. That's kind of a boring one to end on, but okay. We could pay- we could pay the guy to change it. <laughs> nah, that would be stupid. <laughs> I mean, we can show it off. Eh, I- eh, it's fine. I mean, we haven't done it at all, because I mean, I never do it, but I want to- I kind of- I kind of wonder what it looks like, actually. <laughs> eh. It's nothing really special. You just feed well, him- you, you, have, you have to have a unique animation and be switched around the comics. <laughs> well, he kind of just does like- Yeah, he just does like a pose or something, and then it just switches to the map and it just shows you the comments that are available. It's really nothing special. We are gonna have- we are gonna have to go and fight Bowser after this, so we aren't- Gonna be quite done after these two. I just see this, and all I can think of right now is uh, that hat in time level. Yeah, you mentioned this when we did like the normal gold leaf session. Yeah, I think it was. I think I think all. Of, well, yeah, they. Uh, I think they they actually did use purple coins, and they reused the timer from uh, the train. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mentioned that. Yeah, and I think they used this exact same layout. Mm. But what happened was like um, you you find a thing and then it launches you to the to High Kid spaceship, and then you uh. get and then you get and then you get and then you get a bundle of um, uh, time pieces. <laughs> oh, like at the final boss. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. The only di the main difference though is. Uh, um, it, it, because, it, it counts as, uh, what's it called? It, it since it doesn't count it at, since, yeah, you just get those rift tokens, so you can just do the, those slots. Mm. <laughs> it worked, so, it was nice, so. Yeah, I do, I would like to play the Hat in Time DLC, especially since it's on consoles now, so. Also, thank yeah. God the I bees are these, here to tell. I appreciate, I appreciate these bees giving you checkpoints, basically. <laughs> I was about, yeah, I was basically just gonna say that it is appreciated, appreciated, because otherwise, um, it might be a little bit annoying. Oh, because I, because I kind of just hate not knowing <laughs> stuff like this. And also, they gonna have it have these awkwardly on the edge. Wee. Wee. Eh. I don't know if you can like send yourself like off the edge with that, but I don't like how close they got to those to that spiked fence. Yeah, that was kind of kind of yikes. Get me some Doctor Strange flashbacks. Hmm. Which one? The second one. Oh, Multiverse of Madness? Mm. I've only seen the first Give Doctor Strange. 
I oh I saw I saw multiverse of mass at Steven, it was great. Mm. While we're talking about movies, um tomorrow I think we're doing Sonic 2. Nice. Okay, it's not gonna do anything but just so you get to see it, I'll give the the Luma like star bits. <laughs> Yeah. He's right by- he's right by, um, uh, Polari and all that. Right? Yeah. Hello. Yeah, Galaxy 2 doesn't n really need this guy, because, you know, like I was saying earlier, um, I think comets just stay there. Move it. Only 20, that's pretty yeah, cheap. Yeah, it's very cheap. I'm happy to just feed him automat- feed them automatically. Yeah. Snacky doodly do. Yeah, that's all that happens. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Imagine it wasn't even there until we did that. <laughs> yeah, that'll be funny. I have had runs of this game where, like, I needed to talk to that guy to just make comments appear. So, um, it is helpful for that, I guess. Last one, Dusty Dune. Yeah, I don't remember if this is timed. I don't know what it is, actually. <laughs> Purple coins in the desert. Oh, man. This, might, this looks like it could be timed. Yeah. What's what the music says? Oh, no, it feels... Yeah... Okay, it's just a collection mission, okay. It's fine. Well, well, we're gonna have to do our final thoughts soon enough. Uh, we're gonna... I... Uh, that... Are you saving up the credits? Yeah, because, um... Because you have to play the credits twice in this game, I thought it'd just be best to just save it for the second credits run. Um, you just want to get... So we're gonna unlock Luigi Galaxy at the very least. We're, we're gonna unlock it, but that's where that's where our adventure ends. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna guess you're probably gonna save it for a stream or something. Yes, but not for a while. Um, that's that'll be like for when I stream the Mario series in general, which I don't know when I'll do that. Um. I don't want to... I don't know. I mean, I will tell you this. Galaxy 2 is definitely happening before streaming Luigi Galaxy. It doesn't even have... Does it, does it, does it even get a voice cut? Super Luigi Galaxy. Ugh. Super oh, Luigi right. Galaxy. Oh my gosh, you need to pick out Tennessee. I mean, this is the last uh, level of the game, so... Do we have any last minute tangents we can go on? I want to throw up. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess just a one up. Well, some ugly looking tornadoes. Yeah. What if those aren't even their eyes? They're like just googly eyes that they kind of swept up in the cyclone. <laughs> they look very like, yeah, they look very banjo enemy. At uh, enemy esque. Esque. Yes, they do. Like, Mario enemies tend to be, like, weird and wacky, but they don't usually have, like, over-the-top googly eyes like that. It's so weird that they have, though. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks like they came right out, right out of Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> I think I made that joke during the original run. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I remember someone talking about that. It's even our comp commentary becoming repackaged. Yeah. I mean, this is, like... <laughs> There's not really much to say about this. It's just like going through the same area we've seen before. Um, again, we'll just be glad our commentary hasn't died. Yeah, I mean, I, I, unless we have things to say during like the second Bowser run, I'm probably just gonna skip that in the um, editing. Well, time for fast forward. Well, not now, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty happy with how this LP has gone overall, though. I, I definitely say this is one of this has been one of our stronger 
um, playthroughs. Um, so, I guess just whatever beats our um, uh, <laughs> whatever be whatever what it, whatever beats whatever beats Dunga and Country Returns. Yeah, that's not very hard. <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely, in terms of like our best LPs, though, I do I definitely say um, this and well, Rayman Origins is good because of the stupid generator. Oh, the top generator. <laughs> yeah. Let me let me turn down my back. I think Legends was decent in terms of being on topic. I don't know. I'm trying to think of all the stuff we've done at this point. If we're talking specifically the full, if we're talking specifically, if we're talking specifically our group, no! group of three. Oh! oh! Oh my god, you suck. Good. Today's playthrough has been brought to you by Pete. For Pete's sake. Today's playthrough has been brought to you by Bill Pullman's Twister. <laughs> Wait, I think that was Bill Paxton. That's what makes the that's what makes these suck. You have to do all this again. Yes, Harry, tornadoes do suck. Haha. -ha. Yes. Um, I'm noticing there's some like possibly human skulls in the tornado. Who died before? Oh yeah, that's a good point. Hmm. That's disturbing. If we're operating under the whole, each new life for Mario is a different Mario, then I guess they got Mario's corpse and just dug it up. That's dark. Every month. <laughs> I have seen you before, Traveler. <laughs> we will meet again. I don't know. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, I don't know if you can destroy those spike balls that the tornado, some of the tornadoes have with star bits, but I'm going to try that. Plot switch, you just add more debris to the tornado. <laughs> Rip that dry Oh bones. gosh, that poor dry bone. Yeah. Like, I mean, already dead, but still. He's dead, dead now. Going back to what we were talking about with our commentary quality, <laughs> um, um, I have, I, I mean, our, I think our Kingdom Hearts ones are pretty good. I mean, I was only in it for like two sessions. Yeah, I'm think, yeah, I get the most of the Kingdom Hearts stuff has been pretty great good. Then, this is not in Origins for other ones I think of first. Yeah, in turn, yeah, I'm, I'm mainly thinking about the ones that's been all three of us. Ma what about Mario Wii? That was all right. I remember that being decent, but a lot of it, I mainly just remember me going mad over uh, nine seven and the Mario voice. <laughs> I don't really the remember Mario much voice, else. You're talking about the Mario voice carried the entire commentary. That was pretty funny. Yeah, I don't remember much of of that playthrough. I, it, at, in the <laughs> moment, I remember it being like decent, but it was funny at the very least. Yeah, um, you know, I think, okay, uh, before I make a statement like that, um, what, are, what <laughs> playthroughs have we done together? Just, because I'm trying to remember. New Super Mario Brothers Wii, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Rayman Legends and Origins, this, um, Jason joined for parts of Spyro 2 and Year of the Dragon, I, oh yeah, I was present for Portions of Kingdom Hearts 3. Okay, yeah. Jason. I, th I think. Jason. Jason I... was there for like the initial parts of A Link to the Past. Oh, right. I kind of forgot I did that game. <laughs> I kind of uh, forgot I was part of that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you kind of dipped pretty early on. <laughs> I, I, I think. I forgot why. I don't know. Happened. Maybe yeah. because I feel like I, I, I wouldn't have much to say. I guess. I mean, th this is like, might have been like six years ago at this point. No, the past was 2017 and 2018. Oh, okay. Huh. Zelda 2 was six um, years ago. I, 
not a group thing, but I Ooh. think I, I remember one of the funnier things was that when you had me join along for like for because you met because some of your audio messed up with Banjo Dewey. Oh yeah, you, you were in Grunty Industries. Grunty Industries. Yeah, and I remember um, uh, you were in Zelda One because I just didn't have enough to say about that game, so. And that was in post. Didn't you? Yeah, that was in post. Okay, I, I guess I can't destroy those. Uh, I don't like I don't... this. Oh, our donkey's on again. Oh Here yeah, DKC two and three. Um, those are fun. Yeah. I still, you know, just type of commentary. I'm glad that our live streams for the DKC games turned out well enough. Mm. Yeah, that was good. Oh, great, I need to use this to. Which one, did, which one did you have the most fun doing? Wait, what? In terms of the Donkey Kong Country um, uh, streams, which one did you enjoy doing the most? Uh. Not counting the Tropical Freeze LP um, things. Uh, uh, Tropical yeah. Freeze, like. Um, um, okay, DKC 1, 2, and 3 when we played over the NSO. Uh. Probably two. You sounds right. I mean, I know we got we struggled. We struggled for no reason on the freaking uh, on the on on the raceway that level. Uh, remember that? <laughs> I can't remember. It is the uh, it is a roller coaster that level with the race. We kept messing up. <laughs> that sounds about right. And it was like, it was like multiple things. It was just like, it was just like a particular jump. You're like, really muffled right now. Can you hear me now? Hi. I said a particular jump. I don't know. It was like, we jumped up, we kept jumping on a guy, but that kept leading us into a pit. <laughs> oh! I have no memory of this. <laughs> and there's our last star. Yep. Well, let's go end the game. <laughs> Again. The door's wide open! Jason, you can just mute your mic. Sorry, there was a truck going by with a door wide open, so I would just try to warn them. Oh. Okay, alright, my bad. Okay. All right, let's destroy the center of the universe again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so again, this is just the same level. Nothing's changed. Um, so, unless we have things to talk about, I'm just gonna, like, edit this out. So... Yeah. Or we can just be silent the whole way through. That works, too. <laughs> I can't even look at this right now. I'm, my stomach's doing backflips. <laughs> you just safe stayed through, uh, through, through the first uh, loss level. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you can do this. I'm gonna see if you can go over to that twister. We just... <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I still think it's funny how we just kept safe staying through the first, for the first um, uh, secret level. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I don't know if there's Are anything. Doing that? No, it, I think it was you. I think it was you. Just didn't want to deal with the bullshit. Oh. <laughs> I didn't really know what the point of going over here was. There is no point, I guess. <laughs> to die. Good. Okay. Right. Well, this... I'm probably not going to do next to the tour again because I don't know if I can keep going for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Cause I, yeah, this is probably gonna be the last time I'll. God damn it! Right. Oh, oh! What? <laughs> <laughs> Say. I can do it! I can do it! I can save this! Oh! <laughs> Thank you. That Keep was that amazing. In. That was amazing. <laughs> You're kicking that in. <laughs> I I can't believe that right. worked. <laughs> yeah, I'll. <You> definitely... <laughs> I'll keep that in. That was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I can't I, believe that worked. That was amazing. You had no right surviving that. 
Yeah, no, I I had no I, <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <laughs> but as they say, okay, so. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was just spinning because, like, oh, wait, I, I'm I'm bouncing off of the like platform, so maybe this will like lead to like me living. <laughs> well, yeah, because it was rotating in, so. <laughs> yeah. And it headed it down at one at some point. <laughs> Yeah, don't backflip. As fans can tell, this is Bowser. He's standing, he's a character. He's great, even from far away. <laughs> you were timing that, weren't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> God damn it, Harry. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> that video is just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that sounds more like a Reggie meme than a. Than a... <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know about this already. Hello there. Hello there. I actually tried pressing start to like skip casting like this is Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> You're just mashing start start down on D-pad X. Rough. Wee. I wonder if you move the camera around, you can see Junior and, and Peach. Uh, well, uh... I'm not for first time. Oh, I meant, like, as it's, as it's scrolling around. Oh. Because you can see the planetoids. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking for them. Yeah, I am, I am too. I don't see them. Uh, maybe? Uh, oh, I, I think. Yeah, I see the ship. Yeah, oh, I see the ship. Yeah, yeah. So are they... Yeah, I can see them. We can see their models. <laughs> I can only really make out the ship. I don't know if they're actually there. Yeah. Junior just turned his dad on. Damn dad, kick it out! Junior? What language? <laughs> Probably would do it too. Yeah. Sure, I'm glad no balloons can hurt a card character with spikes. <laughs> yeah. And I also think it's funny how the fireballs don't even burn the spikes. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. A fire Mario can, so that means fire Mario is fire slaughter. That's a fair point, actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now he just gets his clock clean this whole fight. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, what, what, what gravity is pulling you into this part, actually? The gods of the universe, I don't know. The sheer enmity Mario and God are happy to their... <laughs> <laughs> like, that enmity possesses its own gravitational field. Yeah. Oh, I thought we established that they were just friends, like, doing whatever. <laughs> one of my favorite gags is, will always be, like, uh... They're like, like, I think we joked about this one time where it's just, like, Peach... Uh, like, it's, like, it's, it's pretty much a game to them at this point. It may as well be. Yeah, no, I just kind of part me. Yeah, it's a friendly competition for them, but not for Peach. Or, you know, the numerous civilians who get screwed over every time. Yeah. Yeah. It's like... What is it? The the ending of uh, Mario Odyssey basically turns into a uh, romantic comedy. No! I don't know Peach going, no, he's making a laugh. I should imagine, like, a <laughs> spin-off AU with the Mario characters in, like, high school or something. I've seen videos, uh, like, looking into it like that. Yeah. Like, that worked. Yeah, probably. I'm pretty sure that might exist somewhere. So. There are numerous fan fictions and video games. Hey, girl. Yeah. And game's done. Again. Did you check how much longer the last in the rest of the chapter is? By the way, in story time. Uh, uh, we're like we have like maybe a quarter of it left. It will take about an hour and a half. All right. In that case, I'm definitely gonna play like Mario Two or something. Mm. I assume the Doki Doki Panic. Yes. Okay, that'll be funny if you play those levels. Nope. I might do that. I'm gonna I'm just gonna browse for the for the NES for the SNES online. <laughs> The grand like, well, we're gonna do now just the game I don't want to do, and what we're gonna do is we're also gonna load it from my thing just so I can keep it safe. Uh, what are you saying, Scruffy? The grand star having those orbs, the, the orbs at the tips always look weird to me. Mm. It's, like a it's like a sheriff's star at this point. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Putting it. Um, You're my favorite deputy. Yeah, you guys need yeah. to get ready for your like, Gavi your final thoughts soon because that's kind of hard. Let's not just say what you just said. Also, <laughs> hi. also hi, Jason. Oh hi. <laughs> hey, how did you fail? Yeah. Uh, Bowser Junior. It doesn't know how to steer. <laughs> Gaming check. And everything just kind of dies again? How many times has Mario destroyed the universe? <laughs> enough. Not enough. Yeah. Yeah, she gave you the water. Yeah, as you, as you do like um, both 400% runs with Mario and Luigi, you kill it like four times. Both. Yeah, next time, probably don't build your galaxy in the center of the universe. Maniac. Or at the very least, don't be an asshole about it. Yeah. You can do one of those things. 
Oh, you're here. You're here. Why not? Well, oh, that'll be fun. Yeah, Great. but what's up? 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 And it's just, ah. and it's just canonically the end of the series, like, well. Wow. Oh, it was so God. stupid, everyone died. The end. <laughs> well. Oh yeah, my final Yoshi's Island currently is, uh, is, is, is at 100%. It's not completely done, though, because, um, I just thought that world was fine. <laughs> yeah. I could probably get a decent chunk in there. Yeah, possibly. I could probably get two or three worlds done. I'm not going for 100% for the record. I'll try, but... Uh, that's the main thing that stops me from playing the Yoshi games a lot. Like, I feel like I kind of have to 100% them, and they're just really exhausting too, so I just kind of never play them. When is extra? Levels? Mm. Well, when, well, when are we story timing? Uh -huh. Oh gosh, give me like a... 30 to 60 minutes, 30 to 60 minutes out of this is done. He's a cat, and he might stomach catch up with me. Mm. I mean, I think he's going to help a lot of people. Well, I mean, I think you've told me this before. <laughs> well, yeah, we just have to again. We have to reset the universe twice. Bring back Luigi this time. <laughs> I'll do one. I'll do you one better. Yes. You'll see. Just wait till the credits are over. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, just I'll make Luigi exist, but then there's no Mario. There's just two Luigi's. A sword for a soul. Except. <laughs> oh god. They really could have made it so Luigi saves Mario instead. That would have been fun. What if he got to be in character for Mario? <laughs> No, but he, the Luigi's had to say Mario in the Luigi's Legend game, so... Very true. Those are, are non-canon and non non-mainline Harry. <laughs> well, I mean... He's allowed to be the hero in canon. <laughs> they, I mean, they're definitely canon. I, they're, def they're not mainline, but... I mean, canon is, like, a funny joke in the series, so whatever. It doesn't happen. It doesn't have Super <laughs> in the title, it doesn't exist. <laughs> well, Literally every game it doesn't have Super doesn't exist. Gotcha. So Super Star Fighter is, is, is still a uh, mainline then, apparently? And so the only favorite Mario game of can is um, uh, Super Mario Mario. <laughs> yes, Mario canonically went to hell. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, he went to hell because he blew up the universe twice. Yeah? <laughs> I'm getting this again. Welcome, new galaxy! Luigi's galaxy, I mean. Yeah. I like how it's just a mishmash of just a bunch of planets from all the levels. And, uh... No, that's, where they, that's where they all canonically existed at all time at scale. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, final thoughts then. Harry, you recorded. You go. Oh, fine. I, uh, yeah, I do really, really like this game. Um, it's um, quite a bit of a more longer experience compared to 64 and Sunshine, so I do kind of have to be more in the mood to play this one. It's um, this of the three games in 3D All Stars specifically. This is the one I'm least likely to replay, even if I do like it the most, just because of how much longer it is. I can go back to 64 and Sunshine and beat them in like a couple days um, and did, have that be it. Did you want to, didn't you beat Sunshine in like two days? No, I, I beat Sunshine in uh, like just doing that in one day <laughs> um, at oh. one point during this uh, uh, series. So yeah, those games I am more likely to like readily replay over this, but I do really enjoy this game when I do play it. It's um more of a like much longer experience and there's a bunch more levels and the variety is a lot stronger um so i do think it's the much better game overall um and the again with the variety there's just so much stuff going on constantly nearly every star has a new challenge gimmick or what have you um that keeps you invested this game really has like dull moments to it there are galaxies that I'm not as fond of, like Deep Dark in the Garden Dome is fine, but it's probably one of the weaker ones. Um, but yeah, even the weaker galaxies are still pretty fun. So I don't, I wouldn't really say this game has like super bad levels or anything. Um, so that's pretty good. I And I think, as I've talked a bit about this before, I think this game has a very, very good difficulty curve. I will concede the fact that it does start off easier than 64 and Sunshine, but I do think by the time you get to the end game stuff, like especially with some of the purple coins, the trial galaxies, and some like 
comets and whatnot. I do think the. Wait, what? Look, Luigi. Oh yeah, Luigi. Um, I do think those um go above the hard hardest challenges of 64 and Sunshine. Um, so this game does gives you a decent amount of challenge throughout. Um, it's definitely not the hardest game in the world, but I think it's a. Uh, I think it ramps up, ramps up in difficulty just enough to keep you on your toes without feeling cheap. Um, and when it does get to the end game where it gets really hard, it feels like it's it's uh, warranted at that point because you're at end game. Uh, so I do like that. Some of the missions kind of suck. Like I don't I don't really enjoy the garbage mission in Dreadnought. <laughs> um, there's the Star Bunny chase in the last. Um, Hungry Luma stage kind of sucks, and a couple of other stars. A lot of the game is pretty fine though. There's only really a couple of stars that I don't like, but most of them are pretty fun. Um, I like most of the power ups. I think this and Galaxy Two have my favorite power ups. Um, I don't know about I don't know in the series, but they're definitely up there. I think they make the best use of them in like most, uh, probably all the 3D Mario games, honestly. Um, and I like how they're interwoven into the level design. Um, they're relatively fun to play as. Thank you so much for playing my game. Music's really good, we've talked about that a lot. Uh, Wait. And the, the game for the Wii looks really, really stunning. Like, the, the, the Wii was, like, not a HD console by any means, but it's, um... I think they did well for what they had. I like Rosalina, the Comet Observatory, and the fact that they put backstory into it. Um, and yeah, we have special 100% cutscene. Um... I... Again, I do think that... I think this is the planet they originally... She originally came in on, or whatever it was. I think so, something like that. Um, but yeah, I, I do like that they gave Rosalina this, like, in-depth backstory, and I've talked about it before, but I do think this this should remain as a one-time thing. I'm fine with this, like, deep story stuff being in RPGs, but in terms of mainline, I think they should focus more on just having fun characters doing stuff and, um, whatnot. I, I, don't, I don't think this is the kind of series where, like... Emotional storytelling should be the norm, but it, it, I, I do think it gives this this specific game like a lot of charm So I like that they like put that in the game and That's about all the main stuff. I guess I Obviously I like galaxy 2 a lot more um, I I might have mentioned it before in this playthrough, but it's one of my favorite games of all time and I'm hoping that we can do that game uh, justice, because otherwise that'll be really disappointing. <laughs> uh, but Where yeah. did Rosalina get the wand? That was a good question. Also. Oh yeah, and... Yes. Yeah, now you unlocked a full other game, basically. <laughs> yeah. They already beat us into submission, now they give us Luigi. <laughs> yeah. I'm always glad they give you 100% completion. Yeah. So just go over there. Go you click, do you click on him to do it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, it's technically a separate. It's technically a separate. Yeah. It's technically a separate, mo a separate run, so. Yeah. And yeah. You need to complete it at. You, it's basically just complete the game again as Luigi, but with a few added. With a few, but we mentioned it earlier. It get, some things are a little harder, mainly the cosmic uh, comments. Mm hmm Yeah. Um, Luigi has like his usual like quirks. Hmm. Oh, like, they weren't even. Slippy shoes, higher jump. I think is the usual stuff. Yeah, Lu ba you basically have Luigi's like typical um, attributes. Um, so... But um. He yeah, but it is a harder mode, and also mm -hmm. um, Luigi, it, when you spin underwater as Luigi, you lose up air. Yeah. Gosh, Don, Luigi, you suck. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, yeah, I do really, really like this game. I, I definitely say this is 
this would be like my second favorite 3D Mario game. It's definitely still really high up there, even if I don't replay it super often. But again, it's a great time when I do. I do kind of have to pace myself when I do play it though, just because of how much longer this game takes to beat. Um, it is kind of interesting though, because um, Galaxy 2, I think, is just as long. Well, if you, well, not counting the green stars. And the levels in this and Galaxy 2 are about the same length generally. But I think with a Galaxy 2's case, the levels I find really fun to play through that I don't really notice how long uh, the time goes by. Um, but I'll talk more about that when we play that game. But yeah, uh, that's about how I feel about this game. I, yeah, I got nothing else really. Game is good. You say all my things all over again. <laughs> I do like playing, um, but I will say, uh, I, I think I can kind of say for myself is uh, definitely one of my favorite uh, 3D Marios, if not my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know. I have more. Um, this is going to probably sound weird. I feel like I have more fun in the moment playing like 3D World, to be honest. Hmm. I think about it, although like I, although I think I would be more inclined to play um, Galaxy. That's interesting. Um, it's weird. I'm weird like that. I'm a weird person. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but mu music is some of the best. Music, some of the best I've uh, heard in a Mario game. I love, I love or I love orchestra so much. Mm. Um, level design is really neat. The gravity is a uh, little. A little jank at times, but at least it makes for more interesting uh, pl 3D platforming. Mm. Uh, uh, there. <laughs> hmm. And it is a game I do have to be kind of in a mood for, though, regardless. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel as well. I don't really have to be in a mood to play Galaxy 2, though. That's weird. Because, uh... like, because well, Galaxy 2 is longer, isn't it? I fit. I if we're talking about just with the 120 star uh, run, I think they're about the same length. But yeah, if you want to count well, like green stars, then it's obviously longer. <laughs> well, because we also yeah, because we well yeah, because we need to also include um uh, grand finale mm. or final run because uh, that's part. I feel like that's part of the overall experience. Yeah, I definitely yeah, I definitely have to be in the mood to play this. It's not mm. something, it's not, this is not the kind of game I can really, like, pick up at a moment's notice. I kind of need to, like, you, need a you really need a reason to play it then, I guess? Uh, more, more that I need to, like, pre like mentally prepare myself beforehand, because I know, like, that when I play this, it's, I'm going to be in for the long haul. Um, mm. yeah. There is a, I like that you brought up the gravity thing, though, because... Yeah, I do, I do like the gravity gimmick, even if, like, sometimes it can be a bit wonky, like, um, the, the moments where I've just kind of walked in circles for no reason, that's just me like, trying to, yeah, that's just me trying to walk in one specific direction, I'm not trying to walk in circles, so, I don't know if Galaxy 2 fixes that, but it is an issue in this game that can be a little bit annoying at times. Hmm. I think I would play. I think I would play Galaxy Two more I mean, first, though. If if I if, I, if you if you had to give me a choice, right? Yeah, I I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to talk like like uh um ha talk too much about that now. I, I don't want to um waste the too much conversation on that uh, before we do the LP. But yeah, I'm basically the same with that. Um, I guess the only other thing I can think of is the, I like that the star bits give you more to do in the more, uh, down moments, I guess, where there's not much going on. It feels like there's always something to do in the, in the levels. Mm. I can't really think of much else. Uh, what, mm. what, what are your thoughts, Scrappy? You haven't said anything yet. Done. <laughs> uh, 
I haven't touched this game in over a decade, so it was nice to revisit it. And yeah, I'm probably softer. I'm probably softer on it now than I would be like 10 years ago. And I mean softer as in I probably am more positive towards it. Mm. Again, I can't. I can give thoughts, but again, I haven't played this game in over a decade. Like I'm just judging by how Harry played it. <laughs> uh, it was a, a revolutionary game. Like, like just a vibrant mission statement of Nintendo's. I like guess developer philosophy on the Wii, basically. Hmm. Mario in space. That's all <laughs> it needs to be. Yeah. It definitely takes that concept and flies with it. It holds up. Even if the stuff that was good in 2007 is still good, the stuff that was a pain in the ass in 2007 is still a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's I think that's a sign of a perfect game. <laughs> Yeah. Is that ever all you got? Um, like, it's fun to revisit this. They made me more sick than I remember. I don't know why. <laughs> what do you mean? Maybe you, you were just... more. Maybe you were just more tolerant of that kind of stuff back then. <laughs> Maybe if Mario didn't move, it, it would be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if it was just not a video game. <laughs> see the actual like ending of this game, because I never got 120 stars, because screw that. <laughs> yeah, it's a game with a nice atmosphere, even if I don't really... I'm not, I've never been as... I was never in love. I was never as in love with Rosalina and the observatories other people were, but clearly they left an impact. Hmm. Yeah. That's fair. Is that all you have to say? No. Is that, yeah. Um, hmm. yeah, that's all I have to say on the matter right okay. now. Well, uh, yeah, that'll, that'll be it, I guess. Um, so, at the time of recording this, I'm going to be away on, like, holiday, um, in, a, in like, a week, so, yeah, I don't know when, like, the next LP is going to be New Super Mario Bros. 2, but I don't know when we'll do that, They'll, it's probably going to be, like, a couple weeks to maybe even, like, a full month break before we do that, but that's the next one we're doing. Um, hopefully that won't take too long, but it's gonna be the, gonna be the first time I'm actually gonna use, like, 3DS capture software or whatever, so hopefully that goes well. Um, and I haven't played the game itself in a long time, but I, I'm willing to give the game a second chance because I wasn't super hot on it the first time, but, um, recent videos I've seen have given me, um, the want to try it again, see if I have a higher opinion on it next uh, this time but we shall see what happens on that front as for now though that's going to be the end of the galaxy lp so thanks for watching and um yeah i got nothing else so see you guys next time oh, uh, I <laughs>